Hey everybody. Welcome to another video where I do whatever I want and today I want to make cupcakes Easter style. Sorry for the echo, I'm in a kitchen. I haven't baked in a really, really long time on this channel, like a ridiculously long time. I can't bake, for those of you who don't know or are new here, I can't cook. I can kind of bake. I don't really know what the terms are. I think the last time I tried to bake something, I didn't know what sifting was. I bought a sifter, guys. I own one now. Haven't used it, but I bought it in Casey's. But anyway, I had a random urge to bake, and so we're gonna make uh, confetti cupcakes that look Easter-ish. Mine are gonna be vegan style, but whatever I do, you can just add non-vegan things to that. It's, it's not that hard of a conversion, really. Ready? Let's begin. First things first, hair, oh, see, I just saw a hair of mine float, there it is. Yup, put my hair on. My hair ties that, uh, that, that awkward length where it's in between two ties so you don't know which one to do. And then guys, I decided to get real with this. I bought an apron. This is me acting like I wash my hands before I do things in the kitchen. He preheat up to 350 and line a standard muffin holder with 12 paper linings. What, what, wait, what was the degree? 350! Just, okay. My floor is squeaky right here. Not a fan. I got cute little Easter things from Target. Look at <laughs> Easter. Okay, I lined 12 of them with cute little Easter cupcake holder thingies, and then 12 of them are these green one things that you'll see why later, just trust me. Now, I'm supposed to measure out the milk and add lemon juice. I'm using almond milk. I can do this. Balance. A little more. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. This lemon, guys, this lemon was picked fresh from my lemon tree not about five minutes ago. Not about? I don't even know what I said. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing? Oh, I'm supposed to just let this curdle? That is the grossest thing I've ever heard of in my life. Just let this curdle, guys. I'm curdling something. I look really good in my apron. Get it, okay, 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 you're ready. You're in the kitchen five minutes, I'm starting getting screamed at. Now what? At, oh, I didn't soften the butter. Oh no, oh no, oh no. So here's the thing, I don't own a, a microwave. I'll put it on the oven for a minute. Yes, that's right, I don't own a microwave. Don't wanna talk about it. A stick of butter. Okay, how do I soften this? <sighs> And above the oven. Is there another step I can do? Well, let's measure out the sugar. Wait, what does scant one cup mean? I always forget what scant means. Not quite a full cup. I swear, they try and make baking complicated. I, they try and make me fail. I will not fail, I will succeed! Is that scanty? I should flip this butter. Oh yeah, oh it's getting softened. I'm gonna turn this off while we wait for it to soften. I want a level of Candy Crush while we waited. All right, so. Maybe I played Candy Crush a little bit too long. She's soft. I don't know how to cream something, so we are going to make it up. Every baker out there is cringing at me. Listen, I'll start somewhere. Oh, she seems cream. She seems creamy. Then add sugar and then a teaspoon of vanilla. Are there horizontal stripes or is it vertical stripes? One that makes you look bigger than you are. I hope it's this kind. All right, then I mix it for about two minutes until it's fluffy. Baking's easy. Add dry ingredients, omitting sprinkles to a sifter in this order. I get to use my sifter! I didn't even know! Literally, that, that speech earlier about my sifter was not planned. Oh my goodness. All right, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm just so excited. One cup of flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, and then a half a cup of flour. It is very intense about which order in which I do this. Gotta do all this one-handed, because I can't move this much. Get in there. Now come back out. I think I need a little more. I didn't do it perfect. That's enough. Go back in. Baking powder and then salt. Where's my salt? Oh, there. It's in front of me. Okay. Nailed it. 
the remaining half cup of flour. This is the most intense instructions I've ever been given. Sift over butter and sugar mixture, alternating with milk mixture. Blend until well incorporated and no large lumps. Okay, so I sift it, I add a little milk. Oh, that does look nice. Am I supposed to be blending in the middle of this? I'm just gonna blend it a little bit. I don't know if I'm supposed to be. I don't think you're supposed to be in there. Get away, go away. No one likes you, go away. That was some curdled milk. And then blend well until incorporated and no large lumps. This looks like cookie dough. Probably the almond milk's fault. Freaking almond milk. I was ruining everything. This is what she looks like. I don't see any lumps, do you? There's no, I mean, not that you can tell me now because I've already done this, but I'm not seeing any lumps. Add sprinkles and gently fold with a rubber spatula. Oh, oh we're almost done. Oh my goodness, wait, this is really easy to make a cake. I mean, we've always, my family's always made cakes out of boxes, but I can't do that this time because they aren't vegan, really. And so I was like, oh, I have to make a cake from scratch. Well, not a cake, but cupcakes, you get the idea. But I didn't realize it was this easy. Like, it's really easy. It tastes pretty good. And you can't get mad at me for licking the batter. Wait, there's curdled milk in this. Is eating curdled things bad for you? I was gonna get all excited because there's no egg, so I'm allowed to eat it. But I don't think I should be eating curdled things. The sprinkles. We are now folding one third cup of rainbow sprinkles into the batter. This is gonna be one fun, fettied Easter cupcake festival. Apparently it's a festival. All right, so now I just add these to the cupcake holders and bake them. Okay, it said don't fill them all the way, just three fourths of the way because they rise. You know, I should check to see how many cupcakes this makes. Does it make 12 or 24? Oh, it only makes 12. Honey, I couldn't eat 24 cupcakes even if I tried. Am I a baker yet? Does this count? And now we wait. That was a lie. Right now we're gonna clean up because it's dirty in here. I'm back. All right, so these are the cupcakes. They are cooling currently. While those are cooling on their cooling rack, I'm gonna prepare some of the toppings. Why am I scooched down so much? What am I doing with my life? Who am I? I'm Rachel Ballinger. One thing I wanna do is crush up some Oreos, dye some coconut shavings, and dye some frosting. So let's crush the Oreos. So I got the mint ones. Yeah, that's gonna taste gross. But I want it to be dirt and grass because I'm gonna icing a carrot on it. So I gotta crush up some Oreos real quick. This smells delicious. That tastes good. I don't know how well this idea is gonna work. I need scissors, oh I have some. I want every cupcake to be different. I don't wanna do any cupcakes the same because that's just boring, people. That's just boring. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a carrot out of coconut. Okay, why aren't you standing up? Stand up. So I got food coloring, had a little orange. That was a lot. And we're gonna mix it up. I think this worked better in my head than it is in real life because this is what it's looking like right now. I think I needed like food dye that wasn't gel because this is gel dye. For some reason, all I can find now is gel dye. Or do I just need to add more? This doesn't seem right. I feel like my idea was better than what's gonna happen. You know, that happens a lot to me. It really does. Kind of, maybe? You can't see it. Stop acting like you can. You know, I'm just gonna get back to you when I've done this. Okay, so I got a vanilla frosting with coconut oil and a vanilla frosting. I don't know, they're both vegan. So we're gonna go with the coconut oil one real quick. Oh, yeah, that's not a consistency you dream of. I think the vegan part finally caught up to us. We were doing good. We were doing good, guys. Oh, it broke. Oh my gosh. We'll just cover it up with stuff. Oh no, I'm dropping chocolate. Dog's asleep. I'll pick it up before he wakes up. See, it's like it's dirt. Hush. We all know I don't know what I'm doing, right? And then we put orange. No, nope. this is not going how it was planned in my brain. No, 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 no. I tried, guys. This was a good attempt, I think. <laughs> it's really sad looking. All right, that one failed. Ugh, miserably. I thought I had something. I thought I was like, I am a genius, but I guess not. I have so many freaking cupcakes to frost now. You know what, I wanna see if the other frosting is better texture because this one sucks. Does it even taste good? Meh, yeah. 
Oh, this smells like frosting. Oh no. Oh, this is not a consistency in which I want. Oh no, this, this is worse. These cupcakes just break. Oh God. Oh God, they're all just breaking. Oh no. Careful, blast it. It's like breading cold peanut butter on soft bread. That just, that just failed. That failed. I don't know how to frost these cupcakes. Okay, I think the coconut frosting is easier. So here's the thing. I'm just gonna make these. You can watch me make them, but then I'll show you afterwards. That is the ugliest egg I've ever seen in my life. I have ideas in my head and they're great ideas. They're fantastic ideas. And then somehow they never end up working. Like what, why can't my hands do what my head thinks? It's just frustrating. Cause I'm amazing. I know I'm amazing, but my hands, they don't want people to know I'm amazing. They just don't. That's all there is to it. a flower. Did it turn out to be a flower? Of course not, because that would be nice. Yes, yes, my child. Yes. No! Release. How do you get it to release? Release. It's stuck on my finger. Okay, in my head it was better. In my head they were carrot leaves coming out of the dirt. My head had a better idea, okay? I don't want any sass about it. Listen, this is taking a really long time. You don't need to watch it all. So I'm gonna show you guys the end product. I'm gonna finish these real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my cupcakes. Okay, so none of my plans came out the way I wanted to. I don't know how to draw an egg, apparently. Sprinkles just kept going everywhere. I don't know. Guys, this was harder than I thought it would be. I forgot this part. Ta-da! It's supposed to be like it's in a basket or it's, I don't know, it's stupid. Don't ask questions. Now, after 17 hours, it's time for me to taste one of these. Which one should I try? We're just gonna eat this one, simple. And we're just gonna see, we're gonna, this one's so simple that we're just gonna taste the cake itself and the frosting. <gasps> Look, it's Funfetti! Funfetti Easter! All right. It's good. I've been doing this video so long that my makeup is just gone. Anyway, it's good. Doesn't taste like a cupcake. It's vegan, so it has a weird texture to it, but it's good. I'm not a huge fan of normal cupcakes, so I'd actually kind of prefer this. But if you love cupcakes, this is a no-go. No, leave it, don't even try it. But this is good, hey, hold on. It's not as sugary as you expect a cupcake to be. Now, we are gonna eat this beautiful one, because I wanna taste the Oreo with the coconut. How do you even get into this now? There's a hair on it. Hold on, don't know whose hair. Ah. Mint Oreos are good, man. Mint Oreos are really good. So basically that tastes like a mint Oreo and I'm okay with it. The cupcake flavor, I'll give a seven, a six or a seven. My designs, a 10 out of 10 people. I mean, you can't get much better than that. What even is it? You'll never know. All right, I think that's gonna be it. I'm done. Let's do the shout out for today. Izzy is obsessed with Colleen. Thank you so much for retweeting my video. I love you. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this. I hope you all have a very happy Easter. It's on April 1st. I don't, yeah, yes, it's on April 1st. Spend time with family, do what you do, enjoy it. And remember guys, above all else, stay awesome possums.